I am live. I am live. Am I live? I think I'm live. Here I am. Can you hear me? All right. <laughs> Here we are. No oh, commercial. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I'm going to get in here. Uh-oh. My computer's not working. There we go. All right. Hey. <laughs> Skip the ad here. Am I live now? I did it. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? All right. All right. Yes, yes, yes. Figured it out. Figured it out. Did about a 45 minute test today and figured it out. You know what happened? I'm going to say it's not my fault, but of course it is. Is that uh, YouTube, it used to be when you went from Zoom to here, it would just go automatically. Now, YouTube is requiring you hit this go live button now that you never had to do this before. So, ah. so I figured it out until they decided to change it on us. <laughs> until they change it up on me. All right, we're going to do a little... Catfish Blues today for song number three of our 10 day challenge. Uh, I took a couple of days off. I was up at Lake Mead outside of uh, Las Vegas for a couple of days, enjoying some time with the family. And uh, I'm back home feeling good, feeling refreshed. So, uh, anyway, it's good to be here. It's good to be here. I see people we got from. Uh, uh, all over the world, Brazil, Massachusetts, Canada, Queens, New York, California, I'm from San Diego here, as you know, Northern California, Texas, uh, Bulgaria, how amazing, Belgium, that's incredible, Wales, UK, and uh, South Africa, South Africa, so let me know where you're calling from uh, as well. My lake was amazing, well, actually, it was amazing, um, it was windy, it was windy, so I didn't get to normally, I don't get to get out and water ski and stuff like I like to do uh, normally. But uh, it was still great being on the beach, being out on the lake, out in nature, being with family. It was a, a great thing. So uh, that was incredible. And then uh, it's about a, well, it's supposed to be a five-hour drive. But, of course, when you have two four-year-old twins, that turns into about a six and a half hour drive because you have to stop <laughs> a lot. <laughs> All right, so Finland, Hawaii, Salt Lake City, Germany, Atlanta, uh, Netherlands, Sacramento, and Missouri. So awesome, awesome. Okay, so make sure I'm going to put the music on the screen, which is kind of cool, versus Instagram. But if you're not part of the challenge yet, uh, and for some reason my keyboard has decided not to work, it may not be synced up. I'll type it here. Uh, you like the pros dot com slash challenge if you're not signed up already. Okay. But I will put the sheet music on the screen. Let me just go ahead and play this. This is Catfish Blues. I want to go over it today. This is song number three. Tomorrow will be song four. So you had a little bit of a a little bit of a a little bit of a break here. So that was that was what we're going to be going over today, song number three. Okay. Uh, oh, cool. Oh, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Take, Mary's taking her kids to the to the, the grandkids to the lake too as well. Yeah. So we came home yesterday. My mom really wanted us to stay again last yesterday, but we came home yesterday. That way we can do the live, and I got some stuff I got to record as well. So, um, anyway. Okay, cool, Cameron. I'll, uh, I, I've been out of the loop for the last couple of days, and I've been on the phone most of the morning, so I've not been able to check my email uh, lately. Okay, but I'm sure there's a, a lot of it. All right, so let's go ahead and look at it. we got 83 people here. Thank you all, thank you all, thank you all. Great to see everybody. Uh, Rainier's here, and Morrow's here, Caroline's here. All right, Daria, Cameron, Robin, Maria, Nicholas. 
Elaine, Terry, Sam, Petra, Aaron, Gerard, Gerald, excuse me, Todd, Randall, Randall. By the way, we uh, my parents' trip, they were going to come to Maui in July, but, but uh, that lockdown is continuing in the islands uh, through the end of July. So we will be going back to the lake. <laughs> that means, that's what that means, going back to the lake. Uh, okay. So, uh, Catfish Blues, let's get it up on the screen here. And don't forget, thumbs up if you don't mind for this video. We're at 17 already. Keep that going if you don't mind. <laughs> but we have, uh, we have, well, how many? Two more songs. We're going to do song four tomorrow. That will be two days. Instagram tomorrow, YouTube on Wednesday, and then song five, which I got to get my, my butt in the studio today and record uh, song five, which will be Thursday and Friday. Then you have till Monday, we're gonna announce the winners, okay? Winners, uh, winner, winner. Okay, awesome, Cameron, okay, I'm excited about that. Um, uh, so let me just put that, so you have it. I don't know, um, this is not working. I don't know why this is not working. Let me check one thing here. Uh, mouse, keyboard, oh, it's connected. Maybe it's dead, okay. So I'm going to type over here. So song four will be Tuesday and Wednesday. And then song five will be, uh, song five will be Thursday and Friday. And then our winner, it will be announced Monday. What's this date? What's the date on that Monday, by the way? What's the date on that Monday? Today's the 15th. So the 22nd, the 22nd. Okay, June 22nd, all right? That's the one, that's the winner, okay. Caroline, well, shout out, give a shout out to Caroline. <laughs> shout out to Caroline. I think I gave you a shout out already. Maybe I did. All right, John is here as well. Sing, or string strumming. All right, and Joan is here as well, so. Andrew, welcome, welcome. Joni, Joni. Yeah, it might be, this one is a, uh, you gotta plug it in. You gotta plug it in, which I can do. Sometimes though, uh, but we'll see, it's okay. All right. All right. Okay, good. So let's check this out. Let's check this out. Make sure you, it helps to have this tab in front of you and you can sign up as well. Oh, what's up, Snappy Dog? Snappy J Dog? <laughs> in the house? Yeah, remember you post the videos just for your clear. Post your videos on Instagram, YouTube, or the You Like the Pros forum. Okay. Use the hashtag ULTP and tag us at You Like the Pros. All right, there you go. Boom. You can post to any three. Any three is fine, okay? Any three is fine. Oh, John's from uh, Cape Town, South Africa, too. We have, I think Carl was here earlier. Carl's from South Africa, too. Four is coming, like, late tonight, like midnight, right? We'll post it towards the end. Oh, the, the Facebook page? Yeah, you can do that. You can post it there, but make sure to post it here as well. Yeah, you can post on the U Factor Pros Facebook page as well. Oh, yeah. Probably the... Uh... Okay, so we'll check. We'll check. We'll, yeah, not ideal to do it on Facebook. That's fine. I'll make sure the team... I'll make sure the team checks on Facebook as well. Uh, probably the best skill... Let's see. The best skill I ever learned in high school was typing. <laughs> that was that was the best skill. That was the best class. It's probably the most useful class I ever took. All that other stuff, I don't remember, but I do remember my typing skills. Hallelujah. Yeah. You gotta post all five songs. All five, yes, yes. Yeah, all five songs must be posted. By Monday, by no, no, by Sunday, right? June, uh, what did we say? 
Yeah, by, what did I say? The 21st, Sunday, June 21st, okay? Let's make that at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Pacific, Pacific time, okay? That way it gives us plenty of time to watch, okay? All five songs. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I took, uh, I think I took home ec as well in high school. That was a good class. The other class that I took that was good was, uh, uh, what was it? It was like a, uh, it was a film. It was like a song. It was a movie. It was a class on films. Like we'd watch films and we'd analyze them. And it was kind of cool. It was kind of cool. But by far, typing. Typing was, uh, I think freshman year. I think it was my freshman year in high school. The next two get harder. <laughs> the next two finger style pieces get harder. Okay, the next two pieces get harder. All right. Let me put this up on the screen here. All right, now we're at 115 people. That's what I'm talking about right there. 115 people and 39 thumbs up. So thank you for that. All right, thank you for that. All right. Now, let me share this. I got to go to this. I forgot. I got to share this through, through Zoom. It's funny, the, uh, the Zoom is so much clearer than the, the YouTube one, but that's okay. We'll roll with it. Uh -uh. All right. All right, so let me play this again now that you can see it on the screen. Let me play it one time through, and then we'll talk about it. By the way, who's wearing the Uke Like the Pro shirt today? Who's wearing the Uke Like the Pro shirt? Let me know. And what color do you have on? What color shirt do you have on? Ooh, Ecuador. I think we're, we're, we got a great diverse audience today. What shirt? I have my black Uke Like the Pro shirt on. I was going to go red, but I decided to go black today. All right. All right, let's play this once. And then we'll, we'll break it down a little bit. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna play it. Oh, hopefully, Jenny, you got a tracking number. Let me know if you did. Okay, let me play this here. So let me see this. That's we'll break this down here in a second. Okay, we're gonna break this down in a second. I want to check out these shirt T-shirts. These shirts. Roger, Ro they wanted to hold that comment. Roger, they wanted to hold that comment. Okay, red, gray, black, black. Oh, Isle Man, that's new. That's not Isle Man. I don't know much about Isle Man except for the uh, the concert. There was a great uh, Jimi Hendrix concert there back in the day. Purple. <laughs> I don't even have a purple one yet. I gotta get a purple one. Blue, black. Okay, waiting on the black one. Purple. Um, they're like, I don't know. They're they. I think they're they're just one size. Yeah. So this is a medium. I wear a medium. Uh -uh. Okay. So all members, if you're a premium member, you get a free T-shirt. So all premium members get a, a free T-shirt. All right. Yeah, I guess you're a little limited, but although Rainier, you could play these without, just just do it normal without a capo, okay? Just play, no, even though you'll be in a different key, you could just do it without a capo, okay? Okay, Penny, I see it. We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. Yeah, Frank, there is a link. You gotta sign up for the challenge, Frank, if you haven't done so already. Just sign up and you'll get the link for all that. You like the pro, oh, my keyboard's working. <laughs> my keyboard just started working. You like the pros.com slash challenge. Frank, that's for you. Go sign up, you get all the sheet music, all the backing tracks as well. Okay, oh, okay. Okay. We'll talk about that, all right. All right, so here we go. All right, all right. So here we go. I'm gonna share my screen again. Let's let's jump into 
this might have this might have been it should have maybe been song two i'm not sure the fingering i think is a little easier but some of the slides might be a little harder okay some of the slides who's that mark that's weird mark just send me a send me a message on your shirt you should have got one what's up will what's up lori g uh. Okay, so all we're gonna do here is grab your A, A chord. It's actually it's like a it's like an A uh, it's like an A seven, but it's not A seven because we're not actually playing the fourth string. So it doesn't even matter what string you have. You don't even need the fourth string at all. So grab your A chord, uh, and then we're gonna go with the right hand. And I'll, I'll go I'll go big in a second. It's just gonna go thumb index middle index. That's it. Thumb on the third string, index on the second, middle on the first string, and then index back to the second, okay? I'm gonna go back here, so I'm big here. Hey, what happened? This went away, okay, there we go. All right, so let me go back to full screen here. So just grab your, there we go. Grab your A chord, just one finger. Your right hand, once you get this down, let me do this. We're looking here on my right hand. Thumb, index, middle, index. That's nice, huh? You get an angle. You should be able to see that pretty good. Thumb on the third string, index on the second, middle, and the second. That's it. That's the whole pattern for the whole song. That's it. If you can get that down, and notice that's called the PIMI. P I M I. Okay, so that's a PIMI pattern. PIMI. PIMI pattern. P-I-M-I, -I, which is what? Thumb, index, middle, index. Okay, that's it for the whole song. What's up, Pete? Pete's from London, all right. Oh, the chord? Yeah, those don't have, we're gonna have to change that. These don't have the chords on them. These don't have the chords on them. I have to make some, make some correction for this, though. So. Okay. <clears throat> This is just one finger though. Okay. Let's practice that a couple of times. Thumb, index, middle, index. Just go back and forth. Oh, Dream On, that's a good song. This is how you should practice if this is new to you. Polgar, yeah, Polgar, thumb. Real nice and even, it doesn't even have to be fast. Notice how, how it's going too, it's like this. Okay. Get that down. Once you get that down, the chords, they're they're not super hard, but yeah. They're a little challenging, but they're not super hard. Okay? So we only have a few chords here. We got A, we have D7, which is this, one finger. Open to open. Zero two zero. And then the other chord is the E E seven chord, which is this. Two zero two. Is that better? Two zero two. Alright, and then the the walk up is up there, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay. Let me get this back on the screen here. So we're going to do, notice the pattern, A, you do that pattern twice, you do that P-I-M-I -I pattern two times, then you go to the D7 chord, back to A, and now the only thing that changes here, if you notice right here, It's gonna add this three right here, so. Okay, and that's it. That's it. That's also an A7 chord. Right, that's it. So if I play the first line here, the first line, so we're just gonna play this right here. It's gonna go to the D7, back to A. That's third finger. 
Yeah, that's cool sounding, right? Right? That's really cool sounding. All right, where are we at with that? Where are we at? Let me check the message here. All right. Oh, welcome. Welcome. Vienna. How cool. All right. I wish I, I don't know how to pronounce that. I wish I could. Sounds cool, though. All okay. Of course, we do have backing tracks. You do not have to play with the backing tracks, but they sound cool with it. All right. So that's just the first line. The second line... It's not it's that hard. It has a kind of a little bit of challenge at the end. Okay, but we're, we're checking in our scores. Those scores are one to five, by the way. So, Susan, if you ha you have you have to sign up if you haven't, because then once you sign, you should be getting the emails, by the way, with the, with all this information, too. All right, four. Oh, the chord chart. You know what? I don't have them on. Uh, I gotta put them on the tab here. I don't have them done yet, so I will. That was something we decided not to do it originally, but now I think it's something we should probably do. Okay. All right, let's move on though. But you can look at the tab, right? If you if you if you think about this 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 way, it is is that uh, each one of these, that's your chord shape right there, right? That's your that's your chord shape. One zero one. That's your chord shape. So if you just look at the tab, you can follow. Or look at the D seven here. You don't need a chord diagram because it's right there. Right. I mean, I know they'll help, but you don't need them because they're right there. So again, on this one, there's your A. And then if you notice the A seven, there's your chord diagram right there. One three zero. Okay. So just look at the tab. Look at the tab. Right. Okay. That's weird, Frank. You do have to sign up for the challenge, though, tab, uh, Frank. Yeah. I'll make sure an email is sent out. Okay. Let me let me talk to let me talk to. Uh... Okay. Let's look at the next uh, the next part here. Okay. So, getting rid of all that, we're now gonna look right here. We got the D7. This is the same shape again. Here's your chord diagram right here. Just those notes, right? So. Just do that again. Okay? So not really that fancy, just kind of simple. Now here's where it gets a little bit cool here, right here. This next couple of bars are kind of cool. Okay, it's gonna sound like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So again, you have your A, A, A chord right here. And you do that twice. Okay, now here's your next chord. Just follow the tab right here. Four, zero, four. And I'm going to use my second finger, then open, and then my third finger. Four, zero, four. Four, zero, wait, is that right? Yeah. Notice that. Okay. Same right hand. Same right hand. So it's four, zero, four, zero. Then you're going to take this shape right here and you're going to literally slide it down to the third fret and do the same thing. Three, zero, three, zero. And that's it. That's it. Okay. Let's, let's play. Let's play this now. These two measures right here. Three and... Now make sure you get that, make sure you get this zero ringing out clearly, right? All these zeros here. That means you gotta really be playing on your fingertips here. That means you gotta really be playing on your fingertips in order to get that, make sure that second string is ringing out. Three, yeah, okay. slower we'll do that next word slower i just want to see where we're at with that okay all right all right all right all right oh las vegas yeah yeah okay all right good all right so let's go back let's play let's play the second 
second lines here. Okay? So now we're going to do just this right here. Okay, this this little block right here. These four measures. Okay? On a D7 chord. Two, three, and again to the A chord. Now. That's the next four bars. That's the next four bars. Okay. All right. All right. Welcome. Yeah, that's fine. You want to use your pinky? That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. The fingerings are somewhat interchangeable. You can use a little bit different fingering. I'm using the ones that I think are right and work easiest, but that's okay. Okay. All right. Now let's play the let's play the end here. So now we're going to look at this. Let me play this once. All right. All right. That's the last four bars. But let's go back here to the chat here for a second. Okay. All right, new strings. You know where to get the new strings. <laughs> All right, get your new strings there. Store that you click the pros.com. All right, K Duran. Yeah. Remember, you have to sign up. Once you sign up, you'll get access to all the uh, tabs. There you go. You click the pros.com slash challenge. Sign up, you get all everything you need. Okay. Yeah, the end is probably the hard part. All right. Yeah, five string tenor. Five string has the double G, right? Double G. All right. All right, let's check it out here. All right, 138 people here. Nice. Thank you, thank you for making time in your schedules for this. All right, so remember, this is your E7 chord, right? It's, and that's the tap, I mean, that's the chord diagram, right? Two, zero, two. Okay. So it does that twice, that's the E7 chord. Then all it's gonna do is take this up to the third fret and do the same thing. But you only do that one time and then you go right back to the 202. Okay, and that's it. All right. Not super hard once you kind of get this down. So let's let's do these two measures here that I highlighted. Ready and now do it again. Slide it up. Slide it back. Oh, yep, there you go. Something like that. Close enough. All right. Now, the hard part. <laughs> now, the last few bars are probably what is the hardest part about this whole song because we have so much movement here. Okay. Someone has said fingers two and one. Yeah, I'm, it's fine. I mean, I don't. That's fine. You can do two and one on the E7 if that's easier. Again, I'm giving you. I'm giving you the. Uh, all these fingers are the fingers that I use that I find the most useful. If you find something else, that's okay. You can kind of switch the fingers around. You may you may have to adjust because sometimes your fingers may not give you the best transition to the next chords, but that's okay. You'll have to figure that out. All right. So we're right here at the heart, the heart and soul of this whole piece, which is the last two bars. Let me play it for you. Yeah, for the for the E7 chord, E7 chord, I use my second and my third fingers. Right there. That's what I use for my E7. Okay, that's what I use. All right. 
Let's play this last. Uh, let's play the last. Okay. Oh, I just played it. Let me let me go. So you go to the A7 two times, or just A. No, I'm sorry. You just do it one time. Just do it one time. Now you gotta slide up eight zero seven, and I'm using my second finger on eight, open, and my first finger on seven. Right there. Let's do that. Again, don't droop the fingers because you don't want to you don't want to mute that second string out. It's got all, all three got a ring. Right there. Right. So that's that's uh that's that. Hold on, let me get this out of here. So we just did that right there. Eight zero seven. Now the next part is exactly the same except down two frets, so it's six zero five, and I'm using my first and my second finger now. They have to even change. There you go. Now check this out. When you go to four zero four, I'm gonna slide my second finger down, but add my third finger. Keep my second finger on this third string the whole time. And add my second finger, so four zero four, two zero two. Which is the same thing, and then I just I'm gonna hit this last A chord. I'm gonna do a little roll there. Okay, so if I play just these last three bars here, it's gonna go. Go on the screen. I'll play that again. Let me play it on the big screen now. All right. So now I'll go full screen here. Let me play this again. Last. This is the last line. The last line. Nope. E seven chord. Sorry. The last line. E seven. Closer? Here we go. Check this out. Last three bars, starting on the A chord. There you go. If I play the whole last line, E7. two strings an octave apart and bottom two strings the same oh yeah okay all right good good well yeah Rainier but I would say don't worry about playing in a different key play it in the baritone key right so if I had the baritone I would just play it the same way you would just be in a different key, that's all. Right, if I had a baritone, I would just play the same thing, but notice. But now I'm just in a key of... I'm just in the key of E, that's all. That's what I would do. Don't worry about the different key, because it sounds cool. If you wanted to play in the same key to match the video, that's a little different. That's a little different. All right. All right. Okay, good. I think, it, I think the end, if you have your middle finger on that third string, it makes it easier. Notice, watch my middle finger. But then my middle finger can just slide. 
from here. Right there, just like that. Okay, shall we? Shall we? Let's do the whole thing slow, and then we'll do it fast. We have backing tracks as well. Okay. We'll do the whole thing slow. Let me get these backing tracks out. Where are the backing tracks? Okay, there they are. Let's do it slow. Let's see how we do. All right, so there's our song. You should be able to see all of it there. Okay, I'm going to play with the slow backing track. Okay, slow back. I think there should be eight clicks. Let me check. Yeah, eight clicks and... Ooh, a little... Yeah. All right, little organ. Y'all ready? All right, let's get up. Let's get hyped. Let's do this. All right, I'll count you in. One, two, three, four. That was a slow backing track that was at 105 BPMs. That's a slow backing track. Okay. You're welcome, John. You're welcome. That's right, Tina. If you just remove the capo, you can do the same thing. All right. I'm a little high because I'm sitting on my foot. All right, there we go. That was with the slow backing track. So you gotta decide, is that too fast for you? Maybe you need to go slower, right? Maybe you need to go slower. So take it down to, I don't know, 75, 85, that was slow. Yeah, Midge, take it down to, take it down a bit. So I don't know, like, what would be a good tempo? I'm gonna get my metronome out here. What would be a good tempo? Uh, where's my metronome? Here it is. All right, so that was, let's say we did it at uh, 75. Yeah, do it slower if you need to. And then build that tempo up. Oh, Pete's on a new ukulele, y'all. This is 75. Uh, you can slow down backing tracks with audacity. Audacity? Is that what it is? Hold on. Is that what the program's called? I think so. Oh, with an A though, with an A. This is a free, I think this is a free program to slow tracks down. Okay. Audacity, audacity. Oh, okay, I'm out of sync, that's weird. Refresh the browser, Susan. Refresh your browser. Just refresh the URL. That should help. I don't know. I think I'm in. I don't know. If I'm out of sync, I apologize. Okay. Let's do it, shall we? Fast backing track. I'll put it back on the screen. Oh. Get your, uh, get your, uh, <laughs> All right, John, you gotta, you, gotta, you gotta buckle up here for the fast one. The fast one is at 125, okay? The fast backing track is at 125. 
BPM is what? Beats per minute. All right. Okay. So yeah, if you if it's out of sync, maybe it's your your and just if you hit the if you refresh your URL, it should at least sync back up for a minute. All right. By the way, I'm recording this on Zoom and I'm recording this here on YouTube. All right. All right. Let's do this. You ready? All right. There it is. Let me get the fast backing track out already. I'm gonna. So here it is. Let me just play it for a second. This is the fast one right here. All right. Woohoo! You all ready? Come on. I'm giving you. I'm giving you a warning here. All right. This is this is for the brave right here. This is for the brave. Here we go. I'll catch you in eight clicks. One, two, three, and. That's how we do it. Give me a score. I'm gonna give myself a 4.765. I was in an awkward position. I, I kind of muffed a couple of the notes. Um, I could play it better, I think. Okay. Susan, you can also go down on YouTube to that little, uh, that little cog, that little sprocket where it says settings, and you can lower, you can lower the, uh, the quality. So if you lower the audio, if you lower the video quality, it should stream better. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that cog wheel. Yeah, the little sprocket cog wheel thing. I guess it's not a sprocket, is it? Ah. Oh, look at the scores coming in. Ah, look at the scores coming in. Yeah, we do Zoom for a lot of stuff though. Just this is just we do it on YouTube. All right. All right. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. All right. Great job. Great job. So don't forget you have. You have to till uh, you got to get. Well, t you want to get this in by tonight. I mean, if you get it in tomorrow, that's all right. Remember, because what I what I've told you before is that the next two songs, song four and five, they're gonna get harder. So you don't want to feel like you have a bunch of stuff to record. Okay. Technically, if you get everything in by Sunday night at five, you're fine. Okay. So if you get everything in at Sunday night at five, but don't wait that long, because what's gonna happen is you're gonna get busy. You're gonna get stressed. You're gonna get whatever, whatever life happens to you. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. Use banjo lately. I don't care. Rock it. Okay. But don't remember. All. All songs. All songs. Do by. Sunday. Well, there is a direct link to the page. But you have to sign up for the channel. All songs due by Sunday, uh, June. What day did I say? Twentieth. That's the twentieth. Twenty-first. Oh, Father's Day. That's Father's Day. Okay, you have till Father's Day. Father's Day in the U.S. at five p.m. Pacific time. Where? On Instagram. YouTube or the forum or, or some of you've been doing on Facebook. That's okay. I'm not going to encourage that, but that's fine. You can do that and use the hashtag ULTP, you like the pros and tag me or us at you click the pros. All right. That way we can find your video. Okay. I'll make sure to, uh, we'll send out the direct link. It should be in the emails, but if that's not in there, we'll, we'll put it in. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll get you to take care. Yeah, I'll, I'll put up. Well, it, you already know it in lane. It's, it's actually, uh, I'll put it in for you guys. The thing is you have to sign up to win. So just make sure you sign up. That's all. Cause we're going to be, we're going to be checking the list from those sign up thing. Um, it's, uh, it's the same link that the forum that the webinar was on. Yeah, same form the webinar was on. Here. 
Here you go, right here. There's your direct link, Elaine. Okay. Yeah, you can. You don't even. You don't even need to use a backing track. Okay. You don't even need to use a backing track. Huh. I just put it in, Mari. Or, or, or Mari. I just put it in, Elaine. It's just use like the pros.com slash finger picking. Yeah. You can do it without a backing track. You can do it with a metronome. You can do it with a slow or the fast backing track. So, all right. Bravo, everybody. Thank you all for being here. Get your pieces in. Tomorrow, we got song four. We got song four, so we're shaking and we're moving. Okay. Uh, okay. So, you're all good. And, uh, Links in your YouTube, please. All right. There you go. All right, welcome. Ooh, India. Nice. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hang in there, y'all. Good luck. We'll be on Instagram Live tomorrow for song four. Get these in. I'm looking forward to your things. Give me a give me a shout out. Give me a goodbye. So I can see you. Can you swing? Is this swung? I don't think it's. Is it? I don't really know. Oh, I don't even know. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you can do it. All right, you're welcome. Good seeing y'all. What's up, Brenda? I'm just glad we got the we got the YouTube and the Zoom finally working together. All right, awesome. Rockin' Horse Ranch. Will. I got a little tan. I'm already kind of a tan guy though. I surf, so I'm already a little tan, anyways. All right, there you go, there you go. Thank you all, I'm seeing the chats now. All right, mahalo. I know, 56 thumbs up. We had 146 people here, that's all right. Thumbs up, oh, there's 67. We just jumped, we just jumped like 10 real quick. All right, thank you, Catherine. All right, thank you all. I'll see ya, have a great rest of your day. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it, and uh, we will see you, uh, we'll see you on song four.